Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So now we're back to bypass front end restrictions. And over here, we have validation. So of course, as you can see here, not all the time, we will be able to just edit the HTML, edit the value, and submit them into the web application system. And in this case, we could be managed or controlled by JavaScript. All right, so JavaScript is a script that is embedded into the web application system, and that could manage and also control how the client browser interfaces with the website. All right, so in this case over here, we have a task and a task request that does not fit the regular expression above the field and all fields. All right, so here we have exactly three lowercase characters. So we're sending capital ABC, all right, exactly three digits, and we're sending four digits letters numbers and space only so we can put special characters enumeration of numbers all right so only one two three four five six seven eight and nine is allowed so we can enter digits here simple zip code all right up to five digits and we are putting asd at the end zip with optional dashboard all right so again we're adding in additional information and again we're adding in asd one more time so when you click submit right it says JavaScript found form errors. Value entered for few one is not correct. Two, three, four, five, six, seven are all not correct. So one more thing that we have learned right as part of understanding about web application penetration testing is that if you go on the web developer and you click onto network, okay, and if I click on submit and I click OK, alright, as you can see over here, right, what happens is that before, okay, before we are able to submit it into the system, all right? The information is already being picked up by the JavaScript. So if I click on the post over here, all right, we can see the information. We have the response headers, we have the request headers, and we can look at the params. Sorry, right, so these are the parameters that's been sent over. And then we have this additional field called error seven. Error seven, okay? So this was also sent into the web application system. And of course, we got a response. So it says lesson completed is false. Sorry, the solution is not correct. Okay, and so on. All right, so all this has been flagged out. All right, so we are able to see all these details. So the JavaScript is the first line of defense for a lot of these web application systems. And all we got to do is to make sure that we have Burp Suite running. So to help us get rid of the JavaScript from being loaded inside the client browser. So all we got to do right now is go under preferences scroll down all the way to the bottom all right click under settings and over here you can click onto manual proxy configuration so we have http proxy 127.0.0.1 and port 8888 go ahead and click the ok on that and now we have already launched our web suite so we can turn on the intercept okay so go ahead and click under proxy tab intercept and click under intercept is on so i go back into firefox all right so i can go back here to Firefox and click submit okay so Burp Suite will pick this up all right so I can drop the lesson overview all right I can drop the lesson manual all right and over here we have the post so we have web code bypass restrictions front end validation all right so we have all these different details once again and we can do a right click okay send to all right repeater so send to repeater and you can see that the repeater tab is now in orange so go ahead and click on it and this is the place where we can amend the kind of values that we want to send straight all right into the web application system all right so in this case we can see that we have the field all right that has already been pre-filled during our data or our payload that we have amended and of course at the end we have this error all right it says error equals seven so as you make less error you'll be one two three four five six seven so in this case we're going to change the error into zero okay so we change the error to zero and we go ahead and click on send so once you click on send immediately we're able to put all this data post all this data into the web application server and it says lesson completed congratulations you have successfully completed the assignment all right so once again i hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and i'll try my best to answer any of your queries okay and we'll like share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial thank you so much once again for watching